Once upon a time in a quaint little pond nestled between rolling hills and whispering reeds. There lived a colorful community of guppies. These guppies were no ordinary fish, they shimmered with every color imaginable, from deep ocean blues to dazzling sunset oranges. Among them was a guppy named Finn, whose scales sparkled like a thousand tiny diamonds in the sunlight. Finn was known throughout the pond for his adventurous spirit and his knack for finding the most beautiful pebbles to decorate his underwater home. He loved exploring the nooks and crannies of the pond, discovering new friends among the water lilies and tadpoles that shared their home. One sunny morning, as Finn was darting through the water, he noticed a peculiar sight, a tiny fairy perched delicately on a lily pad. She had wings like gossamer and a gown made of petals, shimmering in shades of pink and lavender. Finn had never seen a fairy before, and he couldn't believe his eyes. Hello there, little guppy, chimed the fairy in a voice as tinkling as wind chimes. My name is Lily, and I've come to visit your pond. Finn, enchanted by Lily's grace and beauty, swam closer. Welcome, Lily. I'm Finn. Wood. You like me to show you around? Lily smiled warmly. I would love that, Finn. And so began an unlikely friendship between a guppy and a fairy. Finn showed Lily the hidden treasures of the pond, the secret caves where glowworms danced, the underwater meadows where seahorses swayed, and the shimmering rainbow fish that glided through the water like living rainbows. As they explored, Lily shared stories of the world beyond the pond, of enchanted forests, where trees whispered ancient secrets, of meadows dotted with daisies that twinkled at night, and of stars that painted the sky with silver dreams. One day, as they were swimming near the pond's edge, they heard a faint cry for help. It was coming from a frog caught in a tangle of water lilies. Without a moment's hesitation, Finn and Lily darted to the rescue. Finn nibbled gently at the lilies while Lily gently untangled the frightened frog. Thank you, thank you, croaked the frog gratefully, hopping away into the safety of the reeds. Finn looked at Lily with admiration. You're so brave and kind, Lily. I'm lucky to have you as my friend. Lily blushed, her cheeks turning the color of a sunset. And I'm lucky to have you, Finn. You've shown me so much wonder and beauty in your world. As the seasons changed and the pond shimmered with autumn leaves, Finn and Lily's friendship grew stronger. They spent their days exploring, laughing, and dreaming together. Their hearts intertwined like the ripples on the pond's surface. One moonlit night, under the twinkling stars and the watchful eyes of the fireflies, Finn gathered all the guppies of the pond. My friends, he began, I have a tale to tell you, a tale of friendship and bravery, of magic and wonder. This is the tale of Lily, the fairy who brought light to our pond and joy to our hearts. And as Finn told the story of Lily and their adventures together, the guppies listened with wide eyes and open hearts, imagining the beauty of Lily's world beyond the water's edge. From that night on, whenever the moon rose high in the sky, the guppies would gather to hear Finn's tales of Lily and the magic of their pond. And though Lily eventually returned to